I have like really bright lights behind me. That's why I'm like, I can't see anything. Okay, so today, if you have a couple of things handy, uh, I always recommend uh, a cushion have handy. Grab a towel if you haven't already got one. We're going to be doing some roll-ups later, which is one of the hardest exercises in Pilates if you're doing it, you know, the right way, as in using the core. So grab a towel. It makes a huge difference. I have a long band, which I'll be using because I'm going to be working a lot on posture. And I also have a short band. So we're going to start with the short band. So come on up to stand. I want to wake up the posture muscles, the, the rotator cuffs as well. So we're going to begin. Feet hip distance apart. Grab your short band. And I'd like you to just pop it kind of halfway between your wrist and your elbow. Let me show you like this. And then stand tall. Make a fist with your hands. But you don't need to be like really squeezing it. Just kind of loosely squeeze it just so you're aware that um, you know where your hands are. Okay, bend the elbows. And then I'd like you to bring the elbows nice and close into the rib cage. Not behind, just close into the rib. And I'd like you to kind of hug the ribs a touch. Before we do anything, just take those shoulders up into your ears and soften them down again. Do that a couple of times. Even roll them forward, up, back and down, just so that you know where they are in space. It's more about that. We've got to be able to move these shoulders. And I know in Pilates, we constantly talk about relaxing the shoulders down, etc. but we've got to be able to move them too. So as you're moving the shoulders, can you feel, is one stickier than the other? Can you feel a nice opening in the back when you roll them forward, take them back and down? Can you feel them kind of activate a little bit? And already, if you've got the band on, you could, you might start to feel those shoulders or those rotator cuffs beginning to wake up. So take them up, back and down, soften them here. Again, hug the ribs, slight fist with the hand. And I want you to just Press that band apart without really taking it too far. Sorry, without taking your ribs, your elbows too far from your ribs. I'd like you to hold it there. So we've been holding, if you've been following straight from the beginning for about 10 seconds already, I can feel a burn in my shoulders and then I want you to release. Notice what happens then, we generally round forward. Let's do that again. I'm just gonna make sure everyone's mute. If you could do that again, just shoulders in, pull the band apart, keep those elbows nice and close to um, your body, holding there, keep breathing, soften those shoulders away from your ears, and keep on going, holding for another few seconds. I really want you to feel the heat in the shoulder. Now, if it gets too much, obviously just release and release again. We'll do it one more time. Drop the shoulders back and down, elbows nice and close, press the band apart. Now, can you feel it evenly on both sides? Is one firing more than the other? If it is, just kind of press a little bit into the side that's not. But I want equal tension in that band. For me, my left fires much quicker than my right, so I really need to focus. Kind of have that sense of collarbones reaching east and west, the bones kind of just above your chest there. Holding, holding. To add on, we're going to take those arms up. Can you hold the band apart and then pull down? I find this really, really tricky. So I'm pressing into the band, elbows nice and close. Hold that press and then lift up. Take it up kind of shoulder height and pull down. A lot of heat into the arms, a lot of heat into the postural muscles which we're focusing on today and a lot of heat into just the shoulders in general. We'll take it up one more time and then generally release down. Okay, done. Come on down onto your back. I just wanted to bring a slight bit of awareness into those shoulders. Hopefully you've got that there. Come on down onto your back. Next thing I really want you to think about when you're lying here, bend the knees, feet flat on the floor. Can you relax your body? I'm going straight into a pelvic tilt. So nice and easy. The butt stays down, the head stays down, eye gaze looking right up towards the ceiling. Obviously, if you need to have a look, go ahead and do. And as you rock your pelvis forward and back, notice your low back lifting up and then gently pressing down. Now, the reason I'm focusing a lot on pelvic tilt, because it's such a basic exercise, is because we will be seeing this again shortly when we do the chest lift. So remember what this feels like. It's not gonna feel as big as this when we do it with the chest lift, but I just want you to bring your awareness to that tilt forward and back. I'm actually using my feet kind of here to nudge forward and back. Keep the chest open. Again, notice that as you move your pelvis, you're gonna have this ripple effect all the way up through the spine. Now, settle your pelvis now somewhere in between that forward and back. And this is what we call your neutral as such. 
Hands down by your side, take a full breath in. Stand straight into your feet. Just lift the pelvis straight up towards the ceiling. We're hanging out up here for a moment. I'd like you to really squeeze the glutes and pull them to the back of your knees. Could you drop your chest away from your chin, please? Eye gaze to ceiling, soften your face muscles, and then see if you have any more squeeze, any more lift of your pelvis without lifting your ribs, please. Just the pelvis. I'd like you really to fire into the glutes and the hamstrings, the back of your legs. Take a breath in and then gently release on the way down. Now we're hanging out up there every time for about 10 seconds. Feel free to come down whenever you like. Take that pelvic tilt again, rocking forward and back. We're gonna do two and then settle again somewhere in between. Stand into your feet, lift, squeezing gently the butt cheeks. Pull the butt cheeks to the back of the knees, soften those ribs. All the same rules apply. Eye gaze to ceiling, face muscles chilled. I'm kind of dragging my heels towards my butt without actually moving them, really trying to wake up these hamstrings. Take a full breath in, about 10 seconds or so, and then gently peel back down. We're gonna do four more just like this. Again, rock the pelvis forward and back. Let's go twice here, forward and back. Stand into your feet, lift, lengthen. Send the knees reaching to the wall in front. Can you check that your knees haven't dropped out to the side? Can you check that you're in your big toes, the ball of your foot, and the heel. Now drag towards your hamstrings, towards your butt. At the same time, pull your butt towards the back of your knees. Huge fiery burn in the back of the butt and into your hamstrings. About 10 seconds and then again we peel down. All the while relaxing the face, of course, relaxing the shoulders. Take that pelvic tilt. Love a pelvic tilt if your back is stiff. Settle somewhere in between. Go ahead, just lift your pelvis, send your pelvis to your knees. Press down in those arms now. Let's activate the back of the arms a touch without going into your neck, of course. Breath in. Could you curl the pelvis up a little bit more? Could you squeeze the butt cheeks just a tiny touch more? Send those knees reaching on a really long line. Of course, we're breathing. I'm just chatting probably way too much. Lift the butt again. Soften the ribs. We don't want the ribs popping up really feel the activation in the back line again we peel down we have one more like this pelvic tilt again rocking forward and back are you firing more into one leg than the other just be aware of that certainly that is a big thing for me settle in between of that pelvic tilt stand into your feet we lift stand down lift up squeeze 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 those the butt now breathe in stay up here breathe into the sides Breathe into the back of you. Think of your back ribs now. Curl your pelvis a little more. Stand into your feet a little bit more. Can you float the arms up? If you'd like a wee stretch, take them out into a wide V. Now, if that makes you pop your ribs too high and you're coming out of your beautiful alignment, ignore this part. Otherwise, we reach, we lengthen, peeling all the way down. Interlace those fingers behind the head. Rock your pelvis again, forward and back, forward and back. And again, settle somewhere in between. Let's take a chest lift. Take a full breath in now. Can you just stay here for a moment? Rest the head heavy into your hands. Lift your head a little bit, just looking at the ceiling like your, your hands are a hammock. Let that head be really heavy. Let your hands hold on to your head. Take another breath here. And as you exhale, you're gonna start the softening of your ribs. You're gonna to begin to curl your chest forward. Curl your chest forward. Feel the widening in the shoulders in the back. Stay here. Take a breath in. Now, can you make sure your shoulder blades are up off the floor? You haven't changed anything in your pelvis here. You're still in that lovely neutral alignment. So in other words, I'm not mushing my spine into the floor and I'm not arching up. And then again, gently peel down. We're going slow on purpose, by the way, folks. Breath in. Exhale, ribs start this movement. Slide the ribs towards your pelvis. We curl up. Press the head into the hands. Feel the width across the back stay here. Could you lift a little bit more? Get more into that curl. Think of your chest coming forward. Think of your ribs sliding to pelvis. Really waking up deep, deep, deep abdominals. Take a breath in and rest down. Now all the while, the face muscles are chilled. We go again, exhale, we curl up. Imagine you've got a little bit of space between chin and chest and you're holding on to a little ball here or an egg or something that you don't want to break. Curling up here, pausing for a moment and then gently, gently rest down. 
Hands come back by your side, rock the pelvis forward and back. We will be revisiting that chest lift again shortly. Let's go back into our bridge. Gently roll the pelvis now towards the floor. Peel up, stand into your feet. Even weight into both feet. Now, feel free to just go up and down as before, but if you'd like more, can you stand into one foot a lot and float the other leg up? Gently, nothing else should be shifting. Pelvis, everything should stay stable. Take a full breath in. As you extend that leg towards the roof, point your toes. Now keep your pelvis where it is as you reach that leg forward and down until both knees are beside each other. Arms pressing into the mat for stability. Hold, and then lift that leg up again. Flex your foot this time. Press down, both knees beside each other. Point the toes, lift the leg up. And we press down, we're going six. Going a little bit quicker now, if it feels available to you. Bring that leg down. I don't want anything going on in your low back here. So if it is, maybe keep the leg bent. Let's do two more. Waking up that standing leg. You can feel a wee bit of core as well. Lift up, bend the knee, place it down. Take a full breath in here. Stand into both feet. We're going to peel all the way down. Peel down, peel down, peel down. Take a pelvic curl. Big focus on pelvic curl today. And I can really feel I'm just shimmying down the mat because I seem to take a walk the whole time up towards the mat. Pelvic curl forward and back. Settle somewhere in between. Both feet stand in, lift your pelvis. Now shift the weight to the other leg. Really focus on that other leg. Find your whole foot, float the other leg up. Feel free to keep this leg bent if it was too much the last time. Otherwise, reach point lengthen. Flex your foot, reach that leg away from you. Both knees find each other side by side. Point, lift. And lift. Now your challenge is to keep everything absolutely stable as you float the leg up and down. It doesn't matter how far it goes. The lower, obviously, it's going to be more of a challenge. Let's go three more. Let's go two more. Can you feel the fire in the standing leg? Last one. Lift it up, bend. Both feet, lift your pelvis now, even weight into both feet. As you send those knees reaching forward, we begin to peel down, gently, gently, gently. Take one leg to tabletop and then the other. Pull the knees in, let those sit bones open wide, take a full breath in. Gently just take the legs from side to side. And then go ahead and pop your feet down, back to chest lift. Remember the pelvic curl here. Rock forward and back, settle somewhere in between. It's really important to note here that low back is not mushed into the floor. Take a breath, exhale. We lift, send the ribs towards pelvis. We pause here. Eye gaze kind of floating just above the knees. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, can you now go into your pelvic curl? Send the low back gently into the floor as you curl your pelvis. This is gonna prompt your chest to lift. Do that, lift your chest a little bit higher. Now maintain that height and unravel your pelvis back to neutral. Hold and rest down. We go again, exhale. We curl up, we take a nice deep breath in at the top and we exhale into that pelvic curl. Send your low back into the floor. Lift your chest a little higher. We want the chest to come up, pause. Unravel that pelvic curl just to neutral, folks. Deep, deep, deep abdominals as we bring the head down. You, could, you might feel a severe ache here. That's your deep abdominals waking up. We go again, exhale. Stay in neutral first. Then we gently send the low back into the floor. Don't squeeze your glutes, guys. Pause here, lift your chest. Space between chin and chest. Pause, unravel. It's very, very subtle. Hold for a moment and then gently rest down. I can really start to feel my deep abdominals. Go again, exhale. Soften your chest. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Send the low back into the floor. Take that pelvic curl. That's gonna take your chest forward, so lift it up more. Press the head into your hands, relax your face, unravel. And we rest down. Let's go a few more times. Exhale to curl up. Breath in. Exhale, find the pelvic curl. Feel your low back gently rest. Lift your chest. Unravel that pelvis again to neutral. Oh, can you feel the burn? I hope you can. Gently rest down, keep going. We exhale and we lift, space between chin and chest. We find that pelvic curl, gently pressing low back in. Lift your chest. We unravel back to neutral. Pause here, pause here. Can you stay up, keep that height? 
and then rest back down. Two more. Exhale, we lift. Exhale, press the low back, find the pelvic curl. Lift your chest, space between chin and chest. Unravel, keep the height, keep the height. Gently rest down. We've got one more. Exhale, we lift. We're staying up here this time, folks. We press gently into the floor. Lift your chest higher. Unravel back to neutral. Now, could you keep the height of your chest as you go for rotation? Take the back elbow toward the outside of the opposite knee. Keep pelvis quiet. Lift your chest as you go through center to do the same on the other side. Now, I know fatigue, 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 but I want you to keep your chest lifted. Space between chin and chest. Feel the rotation through the ribs. Pelvis absolutely still here. Rotating through. Pressing into the floor with your feet gently as you rotate. Every time you go through center, could you lift your chest a little bit more? Because you're going to want to come down. I don't want you to. Keep going. Oh, it is a deep, deep burn. Back to center. And rest the head down. Now. Ooh, rock the pelvis forward and back. I hope you got that burn like I did. It's very, very, very subtle, but so good for the deep, deep abdominals. Because sometimes we're just working the superficial ones when everything is flying, so we want to go deep. Now, cushion behind the head, arms rest down. Again, rock the pelvis, settle somewhere in between. Let's float one leg to tabletop and then the other. Pull both legs in. Feel the low back gently rest into the floor. Can you keep it there, please? Take a breath. Pop your hands onto your ribs here. Soften your shoulders. As you exhale, I just want you to reach one leg long and away. Don't go low, folks, because when you go low, your low back's going to want to come up. Pull the knee back in. Exhale the other side. Now, as we breathe out, can you feel the ribs soften? Can you deepen gently the low back into the floor? Now, notice, if you want to go make it harder, you could go slightly lower. It doesn't really take much for you to fire these. We're working from the ribs down. We're breathing out, reach the leg away. Breathing in to pull in. Now I'm suggesting keeping the hands on the ribs so you can actually feel the engagement, the softening of those ribs as you reach that leg away. Let's keep going, exhale, and we reach. Now, if this is too much for you and you're feeling it in your low back, go ahead and lift the head, otherwise keep going. And just, that will make things just a little bit easier, yes? And you can keep the head lifted. If it's okay, we're going to add on. Could you bring both knees together now? Rest the heels towards your butt for a moment. Bring the legs together. We're going to switch the breath. Take the knees in. Feel the low back resting, hands by your side. As you inhale this time, breath in, you're going to reach both legs away. Again, don't go low. Feel the low back press down, working from the rib cage down, and then pull the legs in. We go again. Inhale. Exhale to pull in. Go again, inhale, reach both legs away. Notice I'm not going low. And it really is working from the ribs down. Relax your shoulders, head either in the hands or on the cushion, shoulders totally chilled. But from the ribs down, I can feel a serious, serious burn. Exhale again, we reach. Pull the knees in, keep going. Exhale, lengthen. And pull. We've got a few more. Exhale, both legs. Or inhale. And pull in. There's a lot of focus on breath. As long as you're breathing, I don't really mind. Feel the low back press into the floor. If you want to make it harder, you're going to hold those legs out there for a moment. Maybe you're going to lower them just a touch. Bend the knees, pull in. I don't know about you, but I can seriously feel this. Reaching those legs. Shoulders chill. Face chill. Bring it in. One more time. Exhale. Soften the ribs. Draw the belly towards your spine. And then bend the knees. Pull in. Take the knees apart. Pull in a lot so we can release the low back. Feel the sit bones open wide. Let's take a bit of a rotation here. So I'm going to bring my arms out to the side. Feel the shoulders rest into the floor. If it's available to you, bring both legs together and squeeze them. Take the legs up to kind of tabletop and you're just going to take the knees towards one side, breath in. As you exhale, soften the ribs first, feel the legs rock back to center. Now, if this is too much and you're in your neck, 
bring the feet down. Same thing, you're gonna drop the knees towards one side. Doesn't matter how far they get. I want you in control of your core. So those shoulder blades are staying absolutely down here. I'm squeezing my legs together as I take the legs to one side, shoulders down. And then as I exhale, soften the ribs to the floor, pull the knees back to center. We're going straight into obliques again. Take the legs to one side, watch the opposite shoulder, back to center. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Head is resting down. Of course, the face is lovely and chill. But from the ribs down, there is a lot going on. Take the knees to one side. Just go as far as you can maintain that opposite shoulder on the floor. Keep going. Take the knees across. Inhaling. And then exhale. Feel the connection in the ribs first. Then we move the legs. We go one more time. Breath in. Exhale. Let's do one more on each side. Pull back to center. Keep everything really quiet in the upper body. And then we pull the knees in. We'll take a wee stretch, roll onto your side. I'm coming right to the edge of my mat because the wall is bare back inside me and I'd like to be able to reach my arm out. So bend the knees, one hand on top of the other, forehead down and rest it there. Lift your arm up, reach it forward and then pull it back again, getting into these shoulders. Take it forward. Can you feel the opening in the back? Really lengthen, open it more, reach further, pause there, reach. Now stay there and reach even more. Float that arm up towards the ceiling, shoulder down please, and then go ahead and reach it away from you, back and down. I'm not looking to reach the floor, eye gaze follows. I am trying to reach the opposite wall though. But don't worry about how far to the floor you are, just find the length. Take a full breath in here as your knees don't move. And as you exhale again, soften the ribs first. Feel the activation through the core first as you come back around. We're just gonna flip over and do one on the other side. Love that stretch all day long. Bend the knees. Again, we reach, I'm taking mine on a diagonal because the wall is in front, but just reach that arm forward. I want you to get the back of your shoulder opening and moving. Find the length, hold. Now, can you reach further here? A lovely long spine as you take that arm in front of you, opening the back. We take the arm up, drop the shoulder gently, open through the chest. Again, not getting very low. I'm really just thinking about that length out through my fingertips. Find more length. Breathe, 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 breathe. And then gently taking it up and back. Let's flip over. Cushion underneath the, the pelvis area, perhaps depending on what's going on in your back. Otherwise, let's move it on away. Come on down. We're gonna begin nice and easy so that everybody can start somewhere. One hand on top of the other, forehead down. Again, shoulders up into ears, just shrug them up and shrug them back. Settle them gently into the back of you. Feel that both shoulders are sliding down. Can you gently rock your pelvis here forward and back? And then gently press your pelvis your pubic bone into the floor and let's keep that length there. Legs reaching long. I'm not really squeezing the butt. Take a breath, exhale. Take the head up, press the elbows down. I'm looking at my hands here. Energy into my elbows, drop the shoulders back. I can feel those postural muscles wake up. And now I'm thinking about taking my chest through my shoulders. Just relax the face. Can you feel the postural muscles, the shoulders right across the upper back? Drop them back. I want you to feel both sides evenly and then gently come back. If you're feeling good there, stay there. If you'd like more, bring the hands beside your ribs, elbows up towards the ceiling, tip of the nose on the mat. Take a breath. Exhale, let's send those elbows back, first of all, towards the wall behind you. That's going to prompt your chest a lift. And this could be enough for you here. Squeeze the elbows close to the body. Again, igniting into the postural muscles. Take your chest forward more. I'm now dragging my hands backwards without moving them to take my chest forward. Can you squeeze the elbows close to the body? And if it feels okay here, just lengthen those arms back towards your feet. Reach the fingers long. Now squeeze closely. We're holding here. Palms facing each other. Lift your chest a bit more. Just keep your eyes looking gently in front of you. Breathe, breathe, squeeze 
It's hard to be here. We're up against gravity and then gently come back, bring the hands back. You choose where you want to go. Maybe you're going to stay with one hand in front of the other or we go again. Take a breath, send those elbows reaching long behind you. Squeeze them close to the bottom. Pause here. Have that sense of dragging your hands back to take your chest forward. Breathe, breathe, breathe. If it feels okay and you want more, float the hands up. Reach them long. Now, keep the arms up, keep reaching. Keep those shoulders squeezing together as you gently lower your head towards the floor. Tip of the nose on the mat, pause here. Now keep your arms lifted, keep squeezing your shoulders, even though your head has come down, please. Shoulders away from ears. Have you lost it or are they still squeezing? Pause. Stay here. It's hard to be here. Squeeze the shoulders. Reach the arms back, lengthen. Tip of the nose on the mat. Now come up, reach the arms back. Take your chest forward. Adding in a bit more of a burn. Squeeze, reach, lengthen. Keep that squeeze, reach, lengthen as again, you bring the tip of the nose towards the floor. Nose to floor stay, the arms are still reaching, arms are still squeezing. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm seriously feeling this burn. Can you feel those postural muscles? And then gently rest the arms down. Help yourself up onto your knees, sit right back onto your heels. Option to be here and reach the arms forward, or if that's not comfortable, come on up onto your knees, take your butt high in the air and take your chest to the floor, whichever feels good. I think I'm gonna do a mix of both. So butt in the air first, arms gently reaching away, forehead down. Now we should have woken up those postural muscles quite nicely there. I certainly felt a bit of a burn. Hopefully you all have a long band handy because that's where we're going next. Just gonna sit back on the heels now for a moment. And while you're here, a really nice thing to do is focusing to breath, breathe into the back of you because we don't really ever do that. So while you're here, can you think about breathing into the back ribs, the upper back, feel, see if you can breathe and move your ribs. Take a full breath in. Can you feel the expansion into the back and then rest? You don't need any tension in the neck, just relax the arms, breathe in again. Help yourself up. Okay, moving on to the posture side. Now, if you don't have a long band, you can use your small band. It's just gonna be a little bit tricky. Feel free to sit up nice and high onto a cushion or onto a towel. Go ahead, grab your bath. That's a bit small. Let me go with this one. I'll go sideways first so you can see. So hand behind your thighs first, roll the shoulders up back and down. I like a tall spine here. So this is not going to do it, folks. So if you need to get something to sit up on, you can even sit up on a chair. And I'd like you to just again, roll your shoulders. We should be pretty warm at this stage in the shoulders and the back muscles, definitely the core. And then pause the shoulders down your back nice and gently. Think of the width across the collarbones, folks. I want you to think about these collarbones reaching east and west. Grab a hold of your band. Again, we want to maintain that posture. Pop the band around the toes. And the band is gonna help you stay there, yes? So we, we pause for a moment here, sitting up. Now, the sitting bones that we speak about so frequently in this class, you should be on each of them evenly, heavy, heavy into the sitting bones. Grab a hold of the band, choke up nice and tight because you want a bit of a, you know, you want a bit of strength here. The arms are gonna stay straight to begin. Looking in front of you, chin towards chest. Can you just do a few head nods here just to, Again, bring your attention to where your neck is in space. And then settle somewhere in between. Feel the length in the neck. Send the back of the head to the ceiling. Take a breath, arms straight. Can you just retract or pull those shoulder blades together? Keep your arms straight. Again, back into the postural muscles. Hold for a moment, stay here, and then release. Keep the arms straight, please. Using the band, hold on to the band, just pull the shoulders back adding in a little bit of weight. Now, if you don't have a band, just do it anyway. It doesn't matter, you'll still feel them a little bit. And release. Grab a towel even, grab a long scarf if you don't have a band. Pull back, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now again, it's so interesting when I do this exercise, the right side of my body does not wanna fire the same. So I really need to focus, dropping that shoulder down 
engaging it in kind of down and towards the midline of my upper back and release, keep going. Let's do another few of these. If it's easy, can you choke down a bit more onto the band? So really want you to kind of feel the energy, the work going into these postural muscles because all day long, they are going to be rounded. We want to open back the other way. Pause here. Now, squeezing back. Can you feel the heat? Release the band of touch and just bend the elbows. Pull them close to your body. Keep them there. Hold. Can you feel the fire? You might feel those shoulder blades a bit more. And then release. As they go forward, let the shoulder blades open in the back. Feel the breath. Into the back. Shoulders first, retract back, hold, elbows bend. We squeeze and we pull. The head just happens to be there. Squeeze, 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 and release. We're going to do about four more. If you don't have the band, just do it anyway. Get the small band that we began with and do it the same thing that we did at the beginning. Pull the band apart and pull like this instead. Take it back up in front if you don't have the long band and pull back. It's still going to fire into those postural muscles. And believe me, when you're trying to keep that posture as you do this, it's tough. The hardest part is keeping the frickin' spine nice and long. We go again. Pull the elbows close. Collarbones wide. Now watch your head. Don't let it come forward. Just let it be. Squeeze here. We're going to pulse back. Four, six, four, five. Now look at my elbows splaying out. Get them close to the body. Three, two, one, take a break. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Depending on what you're doing, we're gonna go again. So if you've got the small band around the mid arms like you did at the beginning, take a break, because that is really tough. It's a little bit harder than this, I think, because you've really got to maintain that posture. So feel free to stand as well if this is too much. Now, again, choking up, but remember you need a little bit of the band. So. Draw the shoulders back, head is just chilled, shoulders down, elbows bent, pause. Now hold that exactly where it is. Can you maintain it? And just take those arms out to the side, a touch. Woo! Keep pulling back and then release, coming back. Shoulders first, elbows bent. We hold, we might need to release the band a touch. Keep the posture, keep everything working as you take the arms out to the side. Breathe and release, go again, pull back, squeeze elbows, hold here. Take it out to the side, we're just doing five. Holding, 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 oh my goodness. Release, pull back, I think it stopped raining. That's good, elbows close, we hold, now maintain. You've got to keep it all where it is as the arms shoot out to the side. Drop the shoulders back, hold, hold, release. I'm dying here, I'm dying, pull back. Squeeze, and you keep it all there. Don't change a thing. Arms out, hold. Press those arms back. Come on, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Release, okay. Good work into the posture. You don't need much. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of a roll up. This is a hard exercise. This is a hard, hard exercise because people want to momentum this. They want to momentum it. We're not momenting it. Okay. Can you just come back onto your back for a few moments? Again, back into this pelvic curl that we began with. Can you remember right at the beginning when we started? How does it feel now? Are you a little bit closer towards the floor maybe as you do it? When the low back is gently pressing into the floor, this is kind of, as we're doing the roll up, your low back in an ideal world is going to press into the floor. So just keep that idea into your head. For a moment, gently press low back into the floor, float one leg up to tabletop, and then the other. Pause here. Now take the hand behind your thighs. And I want you to lengthen your legs away a touch until your arms become straight. Okay, we're not lifting anything off the floor yet. Bring the feet towards the floor now. And there comes a moment where you want to lift the head because you feel like you're being pulled. Feet towards the floor, chin slides to chest, we come on up and we roll. This is your modified roll up. Sit tall. As you exhale here, roll off the back of your sits bones first. Take your chest forward. Roll off the back of your sits bones and begin to roll down again, just like you did. Arms will become straight and eventually you're gonna just pick the legs up. 
So this is a lovely, gentle way of getting into the full roll up. Again, send the feet away from you towards the floor until the arms become straight, slide the chin to chest, lift the head and roll up. Come forward. Can you round over your knees, feeling the opening in the back? If you would like more, reach those arms forward now, like someone is pulling them. Can you feel the back of you open here as you reach forward? Now keep reaching forward as you roll off the back of your sits bones. Keep reaching forward as you roll and peel the spine down, keeping the leg bent. Arms come behind you now. Draw the chin to the chest, float the arms up, chin comes in. Ah, can you feel those legs come up? Can you feel the way you wanted to kind of hinge forward? This is where your trusty little towel comes in. Go ahead, place the towel down behind you. You can move it when you're down there if you need to. Now, take the legs straight or softly bend them. Sit up nice and tall. If this doesn't feel good in your body, feel free to go back to the, the modification where you're holding onto your thighs and keeping your knees bent. Keep the knees bent or lengthen, reach the arms forward. Now, keep the arms at shoulder height. Send them to the wall in front of you. Don't collapse down over your knees. It doesn't matter how far forward you get. Feeling a wee stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Now, as you roll down, you're going to breathe out, gently peeling down onto the floor. Now, don't hang around down here, okay? Reach the arms back behind you, slide the chin to the chest. Arms come up first as you exhale. Gently pressing your low back in towards that towel we reach forward. I'm going to move mine forward a touch. Feel free to roll it up also a little bit more. We go again, gently peeling down. Find the towel with your low back as you peel down. Reaching arms back behind you, slide the chin to the chest. Exhale, deep, deep abdominals. You've really worked them hard so far as you reach forward. No hinging, folks. Peel down. So if you need to, bend the knees here a lot. Reach the arms back. Chin slides towards chest. Exhale. Pure core as you peel up. There should be no momentum. Reaching forward, gently peel down. I'm keeping reaching the arms here. Lengthen them back. Slide the chin towards the chest. Press gently into the towel as you roll forward. Again, peeling down. Peel down, peel down, peel down. Find that towel. Reach the arms back. Float the arms forward. Peeling up. Lengthen. Find more reach here so that we get a really nice stretch. Peel down again. Gently resting. Using your core. Remember that deep, deep sense of using your core earlier. Peel, peel, peel. We'll take one more here. Lay down. We're coming on up again to sitting. Arms reaching forward. Curl up. Reach. And well done. I hope you got a little bit of that. We're going to work on that because the roll up is really difficult to kind of connect into those abdominals. Because what you want to do is hike up and hike down and then you're in your neck and you're in your low back and it should be all coming from here. Okay, turning on over. Come on to all fours. Remember what we said, if the wrists are a little bit angry, actually you could use your towel, but my wrists are always angry. I have a few things going on in my wrists, hence the, the sexy gloves with the padding, but they are good. So if you've got an issue with your wrists, let me know and I can, let you know where to get these. Okay, come on down. So the heels of the hands are on the towel or on the mat. Find the fingers lovely and long. Knees down, you're in all fours. Press down into the floor. Press the back of the head to the ceiling. If you need to look at this, come out of it for a moment and look and then join back in. Otherwise, press the back of the head to the ceiling, feel a lovely long neck. Send the hands down and then gently sense of pulling apart. We breathe, of course. Begin with the pelvic tilt, but now we're doing it like this. Pelvic tilt here, just the low back. Like you're dropping your butt down the back of your knees. At the same time, you're gonna draw the belly gently up into your spine. Increase that a bit, make it a bit bigger. So now we're kind of getting that lovely movement in the whole of your spine. Let's make it really big now. As you round this time, drop the head, push into the floor a lot. Pause here for a moment. Without moving, can you have that sense of dragging your knees towards your hands, dragging your hands towards your knees to deepen 
that beautiful roundness in your spine, pressing down all the same time, soften your face and begin to unravel. Unravel, take your chest forward, open your sits bones, feeling that lovely stretch. We go one more time, begin the butt end. We begin to round, we press down, we pull apart, we breathe into the back of you here. Sense of pulling knees towards hands, hands towards knees without moving, breathe into the back and you increase that beautiful opening in the back of your body. And then we release. Again, come back to your little pelvic curl. Settle somewhere in between. In an ideal world, hold there, please. It's like your spine is lovely and long here. Now, again, it's hard to be here. Heads are heavy, press the head up towards the ceiling. Curl the toes underneath you, keep that lovely length. Try not to drop down, press up, please. Pause here. As you take an exhale, I just want you to lift the knees. Hover, hold, stay here. Keep the length in your spine, keep holding. Keep that chin lovely and lengthened towards your chest so the neck is lovely and long. Breathe, sense of pulling apart, pressing up from the floor. Hold on, five more seconds. It's a modified plank, but it is hard. Hold on, hold on, sit bones open, and then gently rest. Take a moment, take a cat stretch. Go back into that beautiful stretch that we were doing. Release the pelvis. We're gonna be doing it again, but holding for longer. It's hard to do this and talk, hence I'm not doing it. <laughs> now, curl the toes, look down. Press down, pull apart, back of head to ceiling. Get everything in, engaged, belly to spine, lovely long spine. We lift the knees, we hold, stay here. Now, the closer that your knees are to the floor, the harder this is gonna be. Can you maintain that shape, that beautiful spine as you hover, pause, keep going. Don't drop the head, keep strong in the upper body. Keep that sense of pressing down and pulling apart, breathe. Sit bones open, hold on, hold on, hold on. Five more seconds. This is number two, we're doing one more. Three, two, and one, release. Pause here again. Back into that lovely pelvic curl. Back into that lovely pelvic curl. Making it harder again, if you want to, yes? Everything's gotta look beautiful though. Rock the pelvis. Settle in between, long spine, press down, lift up, blah, 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 all of that. Toes cur curled, now pause here. <sighs> Connect and lift, hold on. Eye gaze down, just eye gaze down. Keep breathing, focus. Now, if you want more without changing a thing, just float one foot up, hold. Did you, beautiful. For those of you that the camera's on, hold on, that is hard, well done. Place the foot down. Other side, can you lift, just, just the foot, just lift the foot, nothing else. Everything else stays beautifully strong here. Hold, brilliant, place it down. Keep the hover, holding on for a few more seconds. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep on holding, keep on lifting. Sense of pulling apart, can you maintain that shape? Hold on, hold on and then gently rest down. Rock the pelvis, go into that lovely cat stretch. Take the knees apart, sit right back and stretch the arms forward. We're gonna stretch out those hips, I hope we have time. We have like two minutes, so hopefully you can stay for the stretch. I feel like this class flies, flies like 45 minutes. See, I'm used to an hour. I'm used to an hour, so 45 minutes is like, bam, it's over. Help yourself up. Let's get into these hips, okay? One leg in front, curl the toes. Put your hand onto your bottom, onto the pelvis. Back into the pelvic curl. We use it a lot, yes? I want you to pelvic curl this part. And then squeeze the butt a lot, like you're pressing it down, pull the pubic bone up. Even here, have a stretch, yes? Hold on to that stretch. Press your toes into the floor. Press your foot into the floor in front and just go ahead and reach this arm up. Can you take it up to the ceiling? Find the length, keep the hold of the pelvis. Keep reaching to the ceiling. I know you've got more. Can you feel the ribs open? When you've reached the highest point, then tip over and then bring your hand onto your rib here. See if you can breathe with ease into the sides of your body.
Relax your head, folks. Relax your face. The neck should be nice and chilled. And release. Other side. Leg up, hand on. I mean, obviously you don't have to have your hand on, but I just feel like when you're touching it, you can feel it. It happens a bit more. So rock your pelvis. Pull the pubic bone up. Hold it here. Squeeze. Even here, because I'm so tight, I feel a stretch. Pull that pubic bone up. Arm reaches up. Now find the roof. Find the roof. Just let your head be there because it happens to be there. Maybe take the hand on if you want and then tip over to the side of touch. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Now, if I had more time, I'd be doing this stretch for another few minutes on either side. I'd keep going. So feel free to do that. And release down. Whew. It went very fast. I would love your feedback if possible because then I'd know whether to keep going at this pace or make it harder or whatever. Anyway, listen, thank you so much, guys. Have a lovely day. And uh, the recording will go out um, this afternoon.